Matt is using two eight-foot-long strings of Christmas lights to outline the equal sides of an isosceles triangle. Looking at the diagram below, this means Matt will have lights along this side of the isosceles triangle, as well as this side. And because he is using two eight-foot-long strings of Christmas lights, we know this length is eight feet, and this length is also eight feet. Next, he is attaching each string from a stake to the top of a pole centered between the two stakes, which means he will attach the lights at a stake here, and then at the top of the pole here along this side, as well as from here to here along this side. He wants the height of the pole to be the same as the distance from the pole to a stake, which means this length and the length of the pole are going to be the same, as well as this length and the length of the pole, which means we can use the same variable to represent each length. Let's say this length is x feet, then the pole is also x feet, and this length here is also x feet. How tall should the pole be round to the hundredths? Well, notice how the pole cuts the isosceles triangle into two right triangles, one on the left and one on the right, which means we can use the Pythagorean theorem to determine how tall the pole is. Using the Pythagorean theorem, A and B are the lengths of the two legs, which in our case are both x feet. C is the length of the hypotenuse, which in our case is eight feet. Applying the Pythagorean theorem, we have the square of x plus the square of x equals the square of eight. Simplifying the square of x is x squared, plus the square of x is also x squared, equals the square of eight, which is 64. x squared plus x squared is equal to two x squared, if we want one x squared plus one x squared is equal to two x squared. Notice how we do have a quadratic equation, but because we only have an x squared term, not an x term, we can solve for x using square roots. The next step is to isolate x squared by dividing both sides by two. Simplifying, two divided by two is one. One times x squared is x squared. We have x squared equals 64 divided by two, which is equal to 32. And now to solve for x, we need to undo the squaring by taking the square root of both sides of the equation. When we do this, we are going to get a positive and negative solution, but we know in our case, x is a length, and therefore, we are only concerned about the principal square root or positive square root. The square root of x squared is equal to x. We have x equals plus or minus the square root of 32, but we are told to round to the hundredths place value so now we will go to the calculator. We enter second x squared for the square root, enter 32, press enter. Notice how there's a six in the thousandths place value, which means you round up. X is approximately plus or minus 5.66. But again, in our case, X is a length, so we only use the solution of x is approximately positive 5.66. So to answer the question, the pole needs to be approximately 5.66 feet tall. I hope you found this helpful.